right, so here he is, the former Strike Force welterweight champion, Nick Diaz. Stars don't burn much brighter than this, DC. Good to see Nick back on the proven ground tonight. It's great to see Nick back in the octagon, a guy that every time he makes the walk, you know you are going to get a great fight. He's going to start going at you the moment the referee says fight, He's going to be talking. He'll be trying to slap you. He'll be hitting you with the jab. And if you make the mistake of just taking him down, Nick Diaz has a great jiu-jitsu game, unbelievable submission ability, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt with black belt boxing. Yeah. That's Nick Diaz. Lifetime in the sport made his UFC debut all the way back at UFC 44 against Jeremy Jackson in 2004. statement here tonight. the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. Set to go now for our co-main event of the evening. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee ready. tonight. Go. All right, we are ready to go here at the start of round one for this stand-up only event. So grapplers need not apply. We outlined the rules off the top, but here's your refresher. No grappling of any type. We also point out fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the ground. Let's see if the combatants play by the rules here as our first round gets underway. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Jab by Diaz. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, great block there. Double jab. 
Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful jab lands. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Big right hand. Big combination. Oh, that's big. Tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, beautiful combination. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Swing and a miss with that punch by Diaz. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ, following the game plan, and it's working. Good kick to the body. Beautiful job staying at range and dictating the fight, landing punches like that. Well, he is at his kickboxing desk tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Nice block. Relax, relax. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, let's go. Let's go. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh my goodness, these boys are going at it. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator now, buddy? You see why? Yeah. Those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man. You kick the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A bit. Horrible. Overhand left. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Big shot to the head. Another punch to the head. Out of range with that one. Round two is next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. You ready to fight? You ready? Check around on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Side leg. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh! 
tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh! Need to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of you those. You cannot eat. You gotta get the elbow inside. Otherwise, it's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Nice punch to the head. He's throwing these punches and combinations really dictate the pace to his opponent. Head kick is blocked. Just over three minutes to go. Get finished here. You gotta dig deep here. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Just out of range with that uppercut. Overhand left, swing and a miss. So here's the kick, it's blocked. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Just over two minutes to go. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the fates. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big roundhouse now just misses. Man, look at that jab right there. If he doesn't make some adjustments, Bobby's not going to recognize him. His nose is getting all sore. I mean, he's getting battered. He's taking him right on the face, too. He's trying to play catch up. He's not moving his head in advance of the jab coming. This boxer is way too good to try to react to the shots opposed to getting ahead of him. Diaz's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Nice defense. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Of the Missed with that attempt. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Let's go. Final seconds. Oh. All right, round three coming up next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's Third go. round underway. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, put their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Man, this is fun to watch if you like striking as these fighters go back. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Right-left combo by Diaz. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Lee's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Head kick blocked. And just misses with that big right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. Working the inside of that lead leg. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Whoa! Under two minutes to go in the round. Slips the punch nicely there. Lee's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Nice jab by Diaz. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. That's how you do it, beautiful kick by him there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Keep moving forward. One minute to go in the round. Oh, buckled him there, beautiful shot to the body. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Big look at the hands under the elbow. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Diaz. Right. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Get out there and keep wailing away on that leg.
You're going to chop that thing down and take it. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round. DC, a lot of effective kicks there to the bottom. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. And doing work with the jab. That left punch pretty good tonight. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Diaz. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, nice hook by Diaz. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. These boys are going at it. He went high on that one. Oh, inside kick. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully. Really starting to get his range and get into a good flow on the feet as the longer fighter. Tags him with the overhand. Oh! Oh! With authority, the body. Just unable to quite find that range. How about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Nice front kick. Three minutes to go. Keep moving. Protect your face, hands up. All right, so now his body language really starting to change, and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game. Oh, one of the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Vicious combo there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Keep your face covered. Up. It's a pretty fast jab. Under two minutes now to go. All right, so as advertised thus far, as these fighters continue to trade strikes. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Good volume of the kicks. Didn't just throw one. Oh, well, the accuracy will land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Straight there by Diaz. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume time. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques. He's in a lot of trouble now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Diaz, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Get out of there. Just misses with the left hook. Nice, good. Keep that oh, how good is that jab by Lee? All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. 
to see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Diaz gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Oh, man, look what that one body shot did to his opponent. That shows you the power. And the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent. just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool, 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Man, that was a solid punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, nice little right hook there. Diaz's shot is blocked. Strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Uh, man, he's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. The overhand left is true. He fought with so much intensity early that he looks like he's starting to get a little tired. Landed that one. Kick to the body by Lee. Protect yourself. Look for your shot. That right hand landed. Everything's landing perfect. Keep that pressure going. Back and forth we go. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. He's been trying to set that up. Unable to land there. Really nice left hand there. Nice jab by Diaz. Slips to avoid the right. this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. 
It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your foot. No. Well, he was setting up the hooks early in offense tonight. Watch for him to try to... Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He still hurt. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Just missed with the straight left hand. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Lee. Straight right is there. Back and forth we go here. Oh, and another straight punch there. Nice job finding the target there by Lee. Beautiful kick lands there. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Bounds. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shot.